Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making a delicious Haitian spaghetti with fried chicken. To make our spaghetti with some fried wings, we are going to be needing about three Roma tomatoes. I went ahead and chopped up two and the other one I cut it in half and you are going to be needing half an onion chopped up have a bell pepper chopped up and I have about six teaspoon or so of my Haitian eight piece. This is what it looks like. If you don't know how to make this, go ahead and check the card so you guys can learn how to make your own. You need a packet of Sazon. This is optional. And I have about two teaspoon of tomato paste and I have some parsley tied with some thyme. I tied it with a cooking twine. And I have a piece of bell pepper poked with some cloves. I do this just so it don't spread all over the food. And I have one lime I'll be using. If you have sour orange juice, you can use that juice instead of that lime. And I have salt and pepper to taste. And I am going to be using some ground clove to put in the actual spaghetti when we're making the spaghetti because I don't want to be searching for that clove. And I have some chicken bouillon powder and olive oil and we are going to be needing spaghetti two to three pounds of spaghetti and some water and this is the wings this is a packet of frozen wings i went ahead and cleaned it with some lime and rinse it under some hot water okay and i think i already mentioned water but you need water check the description box where i will list everything i use in this video and the exact measurements for you guys so let's get cooking guys. You wanna go ahead and turn your stove to medium high. As I mentioned earlier, I already cleaned my chicken. It is so important to clean your chicken with that lime. If you don't have lime, you can use vinegar to clean your chicken. I am using most of that a piece. I'm going to be leaving about one teaspoon just so we can fry it up when we start um, making the spaghetti and I am going to be using about one teaspoon of that chicken bouillon maybe a little more so one and a half teaspoon about of that chicken bouillon okay and we are going to mix it up make sure each pieces of the chickens are well coated you could leave this to marinate but I don't really marinate my meat when I make Haitian um, food but sometimes I do it just all depends on the time but I promise you guys it won't make a major major difference when it comes to making Haitian food because that water that's going to boil the chicken is going to have so much flavor in it anyways okay and if you want you can definitely skip the boiling the chicken part you can fry your chicken that way you've always fried your chicken but make sure you don't put any um, flour so no breading so, I added the packet of sazon. Now I am going to put that sour orange juice. If you don't have this, you can just simply add about two teaspoons of that lime juice. And I am going to put the tomato halves. And I am going to put the parsley and thyme and the other tomato halves. So notice I'm not using any of the chopped um, ingredients yet so we're going to save those for when we are making the actual spaghetti and I am going to put some salt about a teaspoon of salt of course taste um, taste your food and I am going to put about let's see here two and a half cups of water I am going to use some of the liquid for when I cook the spaghetti. So now you are going to allow this to cook for about 30 to 35 minutes. Um, then we can go ahead and fry our chicken. One more thing, guys, you are going to be needing some vegetable oil to fry your chicken. Again, check the description box for the list of ingredients. So cover it up, let it cook for 30 to 35 minutes. Now you want to grab some vegetable oil, put enough in a pan or a wok to heat up and you are going to want to remove the chicken from that um, pot that we were cooking it in. Make sure you save 
the gravy that was cooking the chicken that has so much flavor in it you can use it to make a sauce or any stew so now I am just frying the wings this will add so much flavor for when we are going to put it back into that spaghetti sauce when we make the sauce again don't get rid of that gravy because we're going to use some of it to add to our sauce make sure you are careful when you're frying chicken but at the same time don't like run away from it um, I know it's going to pop like I said just make sure you be careful don't have your booty pointed all the way out <laughs> I love seeing those TikTok memes when it comes to frying chicken because sometimes it is true that oil be popping. So let it fry until it's a nice golden brown color. Do not turn it until they are done. My chicken are fried nicely. They are nice and golden, just exactly how I wanted them. I could eat these as they are, but you guys, I don't want to do that because I need to use my chicken for my spaghetti. <laughs> but they look so delicious. Could be eating as eaten as they are. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload. You guys, I noticed my view counts have been up. I contacted somebody from YouTube here. But I guess he said, you guys just have to continue to share the videos and stuff. YouTube world can be crazy, but we are not going to give up. So guys, continue to support the channel. Share the videos with everybody you know, so we can come right back up. Thank you guys so much for always supporting. I love you guys so much. Now we can start making our spaghetti. You want to go ahead and put about one fourth cup of olive oil. I was going to take back what I was going to say. <laughs> so go ahead and put one fourth cup of olive oil in a pot and put the remain of the a piece, which should be about a good teaspoon that was remaining. And we are going to fry it until it's a nice golden brown color, but you want to make sure that you don't burn that a piece. Now you want to go ahead and put in the onions. I like to fry them just for a couple minutes before I add the bell peppers and the onion. Now go ahead and add the bell peppers and the tomato. And you want to mix that. And now I like to add the tomato paste. I know not too many people like tomato paste, so definitely make it an option to where you can or can't add it. Totally up to you. But I don't mind tomato paste when I cook. And mix everything well. And we are going to add the chicken bouillon again with chicken bouillon also not too many people like that it's totally optional if you don't like that just simply don't use it i am going to add some clove powder that way we don't have to look for the whole clove when we are eating the spaghetti and as you can see i'm cooking my spaghetti according to the package instructions Mix everything up. And now I am going to allow the tomato paste to cook with the tomatoes and everything else for a good three to five minutes. Do not add any liquid to this yet. Now we are going to take one cup of that liquid that we cook our um, chicken in. Go ahead and pour on that. You guys know that stew or that liquid have so much flavor in it and now you want to go ahead and turn down the heat go ahead and put it on um, low medium low we are going to simmer this for a good five to ten minutes but first we want to make sure we taste 
that sun is in it out in and out outside it's bright one minute and the next minute it's cloudy so bear with me as far as the lighting guys tastes so good already add salt if needed I'm going to go ahead and with some black pepper again turn down the heat let it simmer for about I'd say five minutes um, while I wait for my pasta to be cooked grab your chicken go ahead and drop the chicken in the sauce I'm telling you guys this is going to be so delicious this is actually Dante's favorite I'm going to save some of the chicken just so I can take some of my pictures at the end mix everything well and now simmer again for another five minutes make sure the liquid is not drying so if it is add maybe another fourth cup of that gravy that the chicken was cooking in now you want to go ahead and grab the cooked spaghetti but make sure you guys don't overcook your spaghetti because it's going to continue cooking a little bit in the sauce just so that it can get all that flavor mixed in the spaghetti too oh my goodness look at that y'all just mix everything in mm, that smells good that looks good this yummy I wish I did have a little more chicken in there though but it's okay mix everything up and now we are going to cover it again and let that simmer for another five to ten minutes just so everything can just combine together perfectly this is the finale guys the spaghetti is done it looks good it's not dry it looks absolutely perfect I hope you guys really try this recipe if you do let me know send me some pictures on Instagram or snapchat let me know how you guys like it but for us it is so delicious I can't wait to dig into this and also don't forget to subscribe as I mentioned before comment like and definitely please do share this video give it a thumbs up let's talk down below let me know what you guys are thinking if you guys will try this recipe I love you guys for watching please continue to stay safe I will see you guys in the next video bye bye